She went in as a group. The surgeons work under a lot of physical and psychological stress. They are called upon to do emergency surgeries. They undertake life-threatening surgeries. At, and they are highly respected as a group by the people at large. And surgeons also reciprocate by giving the best services and having win, winning the trust of the people. Uh, ethics in modern surgery with high costs going up, a lot of media attention. What would be your advice to keep the highest standard of ethics to a group of surgeons who are leaders in the country? When we just look at the word ethics and like, like you said, how to keep up the highest standard of ethics. In times, we're not just in a medical profession, but if we look at society as a whole, you know, we doctors, surgeons are also a part of society. That's good. They are also a part of a vibration of what's happening in the world, in the country. That's good. How much ever we say we cannot come out of the influence of the vibration of where we are. Vibration will always influence us. We all know that when we go into a temple or an ashram or any place of worship where people have been worshipping or meditating for many years, there's a vibration. And when we enter that, we say, I'm feeling very nice after coming here. What happened? The vibration created in that place influenced us when we entered. That's good. Now, we are all aware of the vibration influence when we go to a peaceful and pure place. But what about the vibration of society, the city where I'm living in, the hospital where I'm working? Isn't that influencing us every day? So what is the vibration of our society today? We're not saying medical profession, just vibration. If you ask anybody, do you have stress? They will not say I, they say everyone. Yes. Everyone. You ask someone, do you get angry? They'll say everyone. Do you, say, do you get scared, fear? They'll say everyone. So when a majority of the population is creating stress, anxiety, fear, and other things. Today we're not even talking stress. There's a huge population talking about depression. So what's the energy field in which we are living? This energy field also influences us. So... We are living in an energy field of heavy energy where there's stress, anxiety and where there are also a lot of unethical practices, not just in medical profession, but just everywhere. So it's in the air. Competition is in the air. Jealousy is in the air. Even doing other things is in the air. Now we are in that. Now living in this vibration, we want to set high ethical standards which means we are actually going against the tide. That's very we are great. going to be doing something which not majority population would be doing, but probably a small population will be doing. So we are, as it is going against the tide. Now, if I want to do something which is against the majority energy, then how should be my energy field? Very strong. Very high. Because if it's not high, then it will not take me time to get influenced by this energy field and start becoming a part of that energy field and I'm not even aware when that starts happening. So to be able to maintain high ethical standards, we will say that I, the being, the soul, the energy will have to be very powerful. It's like if majority collective vibration is here, the frequency, and if you want to maintain very high ethical standards, then you'll have to be here. So that this frequency just doesn't influence you. You are above this frequency. Now to be able to be above this frequency, you will have to lead a life which being with everybody, but stress, anger, fear, these are not natural for you. Peace, patience, compassion, acceptance is normal for you then you will be at this frequency that's a higher frequency majority will say stress expectations hurt this is normal so they've chosen this frequency 
if we also create those emotions on a day to day basis, then we will come at this frequency. That's if we come at the same frequency as them, then we are going to get influenced. And if we start getting influenced, then we don't even come to know when we start doing other things. And very soon then we start labeling that as normal. Normal. So ethics later, important is am I powerful enough to be able to maintain those high ethical standards and then to maintain them even if no one around is maintaining them and to maintain them even if somebody is opposing them. What is the technique? First to reach here at this frequency and which means start doing something on a daily basis like meditation, That's spiritual wisdom which will keep you here. Positive thinking. In like many of us create anger and we say it's natural. Now if I as a surgeon will have to tell myself daily that if I create anger then my frequency is coming here. And I cannot afford to do. So one step at a time, how do I charge this battery? So the soul can be looked at as a battery. Majority of us are a little depleted battery. And we are going to be with them throughout the day. If we don't take care, we will get connected to that depleted battery and we will get depleted. Which means I have to leave home every morning with the fully charged battery. That's so now we, each surgeon, has to first ask themselves today, do I do anything to charge myself fully every day? Or am I just leaving home every day the same way? Then living in that vibration, getting influenced, coming home then the night, morning again. So day by day, this frequency will start affecting me. And I will start becoming. Just the other day I was reading on the internet, second to farmers is the doctor profession for the highest rate of suicide in our country. First, farmers. Second, doctors. Why? Why? Because with a low battery, but the kind of work is not something which low battery can be able to do. Very stressful. Very stressful. Crisis, death, challenges, complications, and most important, dealing with pain. Yes. Every patient and patient's family is coming in emotional pain. Suppose I was a, just a businessman, a shopkeeper, and I'm on a depleted battery, and I go and sit in my shop the whole day. I'm not dealing with pain the whole day. So if I go with 30% battery, I'll stay on 30%. It's okay, my life is fine on 30%. But if I'm on a 30% battery and I'm a doctor, or I'm a surgeon, and then the whole day I meet people in crying, in pain, in fear, in anxiety, I will not come home on 30%. That's, good. That's when the words like burnout start being a part of our dictionary. And there's a very, it's a word which I just read recently. It said uh, moral distress and compassion fatigue. Ki compassion in bachra hamare andar? A compassion in bachega, to ethics kahan se aayenge far? I think uh, this is where our values in healthcare, a spiritual approach, is a very apt program for the surgeons. Right. It's a facilitated program, it's an experiential program, yes. and uh, it takes, we have eight modules, each module takes one day, eight days in a life. That's all. Uh, where and that you can, can change you charge your battery. Where you can charge your battery. So, what we need to focus on is not what we are doing outside, but first, am I taking care inside to yes. be able to then do that outside? And which means I on a personal level decide today for myself what practice am I going to integrate in my life on a daily basis. At least 15 minutes for myself every day by which I the battery, the soul, charges myself. And then lives that throughout the day that come what may, anger is not the way for me. Even irritation is not the way for me. Because if I do it, I'm depleting my battery and I can't afford to deplete my battery. If I shout at a nurse, then I'm depleting her battery. She lives in fear. I'm depleting the environment of the 
theater where I'm doing the surgery and now I want to do high precision work. I like this, uh, your comparison of the power of the soul, of the spirit with the battery. Because it becomes easy to understand. Yes. If you shout at me just now, you've not just depleted yourself, you've depleted me and I am assisting you on your surgery. And together both of us have depleted the energy field of the room in which we are doing the surgery. And then you say now we have to do high precision and stressful work. But what is required for such difficult work? High battery. Otherwise then that complication will start taking a toll on me while I'm working and I already started with 30% battery. Create a peaceful atmosphere all around yeah. and create peace within yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I ethics, think most of you know, us, ethics is something we don't even need to talk about actually. Most of the surgeons, they're very fast tempered because they're operating all the time uh, under emergency circumstances and as a group they're more extrovert. They and are not actually fast tempered. They mustn't have been when they started. Yes. They mustn't yeah. have been. Today they need to pause and just reflect that if they've been in this profession for say 20 to 30 years, they need to see is their level of aggression, irritation, feeling low, discontented increasing over a period of time, which means is my battery reducing. Yes. You are right, absolutely. Which means when I started my career 30 years back, let's say I was an 80% battery, doing stressful work, but not charging my battery daily. So obviously the 80 will gradually, and now my irritation level has increased. Now my aggression has increased. You are a master teacher. No, it's just simple, you know. And today if you they start... the nail on the head. Because it's not just about you, it's your entire unit which is working with you. You are a surgeon, I am the sister assisting you. You may be brilliant at your work, but I am new. So if you get angry, your anger might not affect your work because you are so good at it. But my fear will affect my work. You are so right. Now when I get scared, I will make another mistake. And when I make a mistake, if again you shout at me, you are not, you know, you yourself are influencing the performance of what's going to happen in the OT. This is a radical treatment for a surgeon to be peaceful, quiet and positive. But it's a part of healing. Yes. It's a part of you healing. You are a bigger healer than no. the surgeon. This is where what we learn at spirituality. That uh, to be able to take care of yourself, if you take 15 minutes out daily to take care of yourself, you are playing a very important role in your own healing, in the healing of everyone who is assisting you on your surgery and of course the actual surgery. I think the message you have given is loud and clear. If we want to have ethics in the 21st century, but the changes are going to be very quick and fast and rapid, uh, we have to take care of ourselves. And the real way to take care of ourselves is meditation, uh, to be peaceful and to give positive thoughts, uh, WHO, to positive energy around. Yeah, WHO this year has declared this year as depression and they've kept the theme this year as depression, let's talk. And I went to their office a couple of months back and they said one in four, one in four is experiencing symptoms of depression and some of us don't even know. And I personally have met doctors who are going through depression and they're not aware of it. You know, probably sometimes we're not aware of our own, uh, what we are going through. Yeah. So, and why is this happening? Because we're doing very tough work, which we think is very easy because we've been doing it since so many years. The skill we have mastered, but we cannot change the energies of the people whom we are working yeah. with. We are dealing with pain, not physical pain, emotional pain. Emotional pain is what we are working with every day. We are spending more and more time in the outside world. We have hardly ever time to go within ourselves yes. and create a different yes. milieu within inside. Yes. And I think uh, what you have said is the real remedy. Now once the battery is charged, living an ethical life or not is not even an option. Yes. It's going to come natural. It's going to come natural for us. 
why are we compromising on our values and principles and ethics in any profession? If I am feeling not full inside, then I need more and more things from outside to feel happy, to be ahead, to have achieved. And then sometimes I'm making my compromises in the way I'm working. And then if I find other people doing that and I want to go ahead of them and I'm in that energy field and I get influenced and then... It's competition and the greed and all those things which happen. Competition, greed, jealousy, our vocabulary of a discharged battery. Cooperation, contentment, acceptance is the vocabulary of a charged battery. So if it's charged, ethics word will not exist because ethics will be a natural way of living for that yes, person. It's a, ethics come from ethos, yes. which is a character. The character, see? I think. Yeah, character. But when we talk of ethics, we talk of ethics outside. No? Yes. Ye karna, ye nahi karna. If I am discharged, even if I know what's the right thing to do, I will not be able to do it. And you rightly said, even the society, the outside world also influences all of us. And we have to be much more powerful yeah. in uh, our own insight right. to overcome those outside influences. In this last one year, there have been a few incidents where, you know, doctors were attacked by patients yes. and families and the violence that took place. So I met a surgeon and she said, why don't you talk to people? Look at how they are treating us. And you know, she mm -hmm. felt that we should take a message to the masses and say, look at how they are treating us. I said, uh, definitely. But first of all, we need to first start introspecting that why have we got this energy from them? They are the same people who used to come and touch your feet. Yes, you are so respected. They are the society. same people. They'll really come and touch your feet. They are the same people who used to call you God. Next to God. Yeah. Wo next to God, aap kehte ho. Wo to aap ko hi bhagwan kehte hai. Kehenge, Dr. Sahib, aap to hamare liye bhagwan hi ho. Next to God bhi nahi kehte hai. To wo hi log, jo aap ko bhagwan bhi kehte hai. Jo aap ke pair bhi chhute hai. Aaj wo haath kyon utha rahe hai. So before we say, wo aisa kyo kar rahe hai, we have to say, humne aisa kya kiya, jiski vajhe se wo aisa kar rahe hai hamare saath. Why? The vision has to change. Instead of looking outside, look within. Yeah. Because every karma has a consequence. Yes. What is coming to us is a consequence. There is some karma that we have performed because of which this is coming as a consequence. When we were living an ethical life, ethical profession, which was just giving for people, they were coming and touching your feet. That was a consequence of your karma. But then when we started doing a few things yes. which were more for my benefit and not for the benefit of the person, they are coming to hit us. So this is also a consequence. Now if we think we can change them, it's not going to happen. We can't change the consequence. We'll have to change the karma. So then I just shared simple things with her. And I said, look at so many things where, you know, whether it is commissions, referrals, simple, simple things. We're not even talking big things. These small, small things, I said, has drifted you away from the purity, the purity of the profession. Absolutely. It's so much of a business model. We are not saying you're treating for free. No, treat, but with purity, royalty and dignity. But when we started getting into figures and more thinking about all these things, so then she immediately said to me, she said, but that's normal. I said, now, if you change your definition of normal, these definitions did not exist few years back. pharma companies, you know, that whole network that has got created. I said, if you start calling that as normal, then the consequences that which you are getting today, that are also going to change. And unki definition of normal has changed. Unki le pehle normal tha aapke pair chuna. Ab, some surgeons, fear, fear has started creeping in. Ki koi hamare saath aisa na kare. Hame kabhi nahi darna chahiye. If you're living your life of purity, integrity, you will carry a very powerful energy field around you. Very powerful. Very powerful aura and energy field 
वो एनर्जी फील्ड आपको प्रोटेक्ट करेगी इन डेली वी हैव सम हॉस्पिटल्स वे दे से वी नीड बाउंसर्स नाउ अराउंड आर सर्जन्स नो बाउंसर कैन प्रोटेक्ट यू फ्रॉम पीपल द गवर्नमेंट में ऑल्सो नॉट बी एबल टू प्रोटेक्ट यू फ्रॉम पीपल इट्स योर ओन एनर्जी फील्ड विच विल प्रोटेक्ट यू ब्यूटिफुल यू गेट सच फिनल इन साइट इन टू द ह्यूमन बींग एंड देर माइंड आई थिंक यू आर मास्टर टीचर डॉक्टर अशोक मेहता इफ आई कम टू यू ना एंड आई एम वेरी डिस्टर्ब इन साइट एंड लेट से आई जस्ट लॉस्ट अ फैमिली मेम्बर I am disturbed I'm angry I'm full of aggression I'm everything and I think I'm going to go here and I'm going to shout at you and question you and I just come up to you and here you are carrying an energy field of peace patience purity your energy field influences me immediately and I will say no I'm sure they tried their best and it's just something that was not meant to be your energy field will influence me people walking around you to protect you will not be able to stop me that time so that will only come by your way of living life so if you're living life that way that's it that's your protection so being ethical is not actually for people we are not doing it for others it be good for us it's good for us yeah basically our profession from time to memorial 5000 years before from the times of Shushruta and Charak to the Hippocrates in Greece and all of our societies professional societies have certain oaths we take yeah. uh, that we would do no harm to anybody we we'll do good to everybody we will have no greed and we will not practice euthanasia we will not have abortions But the society has changed so much that in our country for example we call it a medical termination of pregnancy mm. the abortions mm. so i think what you said is right we have created a different environment yes. and vibrations and we need to change we need to look inside ourselves and a change has to begin somewhere and meditation is possibly one way of bringing about a qualitative change in a personal life of a surgeon or a doctor for that matter and i think what you have said is so true uh, i think the message will go loud and clear to all of a group of surgeons who are here and that we will practice meditation uh to strengthen ourselves and to bring more ethical values to the profession as well as to society Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Om, Om Shanti. Shanti.